In this video, I'll be showing you how to get started with pings by MailTag, allowing you to quickly and easily automate your email follow-up process. Once set up, you will never need to send another manual email follow-up ever again. Pings make it easier for you to get your emails read and replied to. MailTag's technology detects when your recipient has not yet replied to your email and automatically sends quick follow-up emails to your recipient from your email address. And as a result, your follow-up emails are instantly brought to the top of your recipient's inbox. Pings work by allowing you to attach what are called sequences to your email, which are simply a series of follow-ups which we will be showing you how to configure. For example, let's say you are sending this sales outreach to your prospect. If your prospect doesn't respond to your email because they're busy or they simply forget about you, MailTag will automatically detect that your email has not been replied to and send a follow-up email to your recipient every couple of days until you hear back. And in case you were wondering, once you eventually get a reply, all of your unsent follow-ups will automatically be cancelled. This way, you avoid sending pings to recipients who have already responded to your email. It's really that simple. If you're in sales, pings can be particularly useful, as manually following up with dozens or hundreds of prospects can be a very time-consuming and boring process. By default, your MailTag dashboard comes preloaded with three template sequences. For this video example, let's take a look at the first follow-up sequence. Each ping that you see is its own email follow-up. You can customize each of these follow-ups by typing into the ping's text box, as seen on screen. You can also customize the sending delay of each ping that is sent by using the drop-down menu. For example, if your original email does not receive a reply, you can configure your first follow-up email to arrive in three days. To do this, you would simply select three from the drop-down menu. If your recipient doesn't respond to this follow-up, you can also set up an additional ping. For example, you can set up follow-up number 2 to be sent 5 days after the first follow-up. To do this, you would simply select 5 from the drop-down menu as seen on screen. Now, let's take a look at the ping sequence settings. Here, you can adjust the smaller details of your follow-ups. For example, if you only want your follow-ups to arrive Monday through Friday, you can exclude Saturday and Sunday by selecting their checkboxes. Additionally, you can also choose the hour window for when your follow-ups are delivered. This is ideal for making sure that your emails don't arrive at bad times, such as 3 in the morning or at midnight. For example, if you exclusively want your follow-ups delivered during regular business hours, you would simply set the ping delivery times between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., as seen on screen. Lastly, with one click, you can also make it so that your follow-ups are not sent on major holidays, such as the 4th of July, Labor Day weekend, and Christmas. Once everything looks good, simply click the blue Save button and also save your ping sequence if you've made any edits. Now you're ready to attach your ping sequence to your email. To begin, simply compose your message to your recipient. Once you've finished typing your email, click the Pings icon. Then, select the sequence that you'd like to attach and click the blue Attach Sequence button. Once attached, you can send your email. Once sent, MailTag will monitor the status of your email and automate your follow-ups. If you change your mind and decide that you do not want to attach your ping sequence, simply reopen the menu, deselect the sequence, and click anywhere, as shown on screen. And that concludes this tutorial video on pings by MailTag. 